Tonight's show was filmed in front of a live studio audience because dead ones don't laugh enough. It's Chadno and Ben at 10. Welcome along to Jono and Ben at 10. Bad news, guys. I'm sick of New Zealand winning all these gold medals. Yeah. Yeah. Big news this week is Valerie Adams upgraded her status to gold, yo. <laughs> Shot put champion, and she's gained access to the Koru Lounge when flying with partner airlines. But no one was more relieved than Raylene from Dunedin because she was made a scapegoat for that whole Valerie Adams saga, wasn't mm. she? Oh, does this mean we're calling off the lynch mob? Sorry, Steve Price. <laughs> what was that? But I bought, I bought all my official lynch mob equipment. What the hell is wrong with your voice, guy? I'm a little bit sick. Stop being dicks. <laughs> the lynch mob is off, but suspicions were raised about Valerie's competitor when her lycra pants were found to be slightly more penisy than some of the other competitors. Is it now okay to make jokes about a woman who looks like a man on national television? Hell yeah, guy. Hey, Paul Henry. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> Right, now following on from uh, last week's very successful song that we did for the Olympics, we've decided to wrap the two weeks up in the only way we know how. The games might be over, but the good times continue with Jono and Ben Sing the Olympics, featuring hits like... Your tot is on a horse tonight Get a truck race on first line Every day I'm short jumping Relive the memorable moments Nothing. Jono and Ben sing the Olympics with all the hits and even the misses. He tried to run in a hopeless race. I got the stitch and I cannot play. Sing along to the administrative errors. Why didn't you sign me up? You fucked it up, really. Now I'm second place. And the massive. And slow dance to the controversy. I believe that's a guy. That's just yeah. the juice, now the gold is mine. Joe and Ben, sing the Olympics. Get the album that's going gold. Silver? Okay, bronze at a push. Out now. Now, in some quite disturbing news, the cast of Jono and Ben at 10 have been tested, and one of us has been stripped of their position on the program. Really? Yes. Oh. We got a replacement? We do. Who was fourth? <laughs> Great to have you here, David Ferrier. Hey, bad news, guys. Raylan from Dunedin didn't fill out his form properly, so I'm back on the show. Oh. Piss off, Ferrier. Man, he's like that dude that plays Chris Warner. You know, he desperately wants to leave, but there's nowhere else for him to go. <laughs> and like an episode of Shortland Street, Valgate has had as much drama as that program. I think we can all safely agree. <laughs> and every New Zealander has been getting a bit rolled up with emotion, but none more so than Prime TV news anchor, Eric Easy E Young. Check out what he had to say on Twitter. You effing cheating cow, hand it over, you bitch. <laughs> love New Zealand. Like, love New Zealand's gonna soften that shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> but it's, it's not stopping there for Prime News. Have you seen your latest promo? Join Eric Young for Prime News first at 5 30. <laughs> version of Simon Dello. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time now for this week's Jono vs Ben. Scissors v Rock. Yeah. Rock wins. Jono v Ben. Who wins? This week, we're having a crack at creating kids' TV shows, because, you know, we're both fathers, and we spend way too much time watching kids' television shows. Bloody Channel 44 with the Wiggles. They have the bloody Christmas with the Wiggles. I love that one. Sing and Dance with the Wiggles. Love Sing and Dance with the Wiggles. Oh, uh, bloody Wiggles in Space, the whole <laughs> shebang. Yeah. There is a serious lack of singing and dancing in the space version. Yeah, so anyway, for my kids' show attempt, I thought I'd combine three things that all kids love. Talking buses, Animation and a little bit of gang violence. The foundations this fine country is built on. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to hear another story about Jake the Bus? <laughs> Jake the Bus, Jake the Bus, Jake the Bus likes to smoke and cuss. Do uh, you f***ing fuss? Fuss. speed work is quite nippy, but don't get f***ing lippy, or he'll send you home in an ambulance. 
was a sunny day, and Jake the bus was out picking up his usual collection of school kids, weirdos, and people trying to save the planet. Uh, stupid f***ing car parked in the f***ing bus lane. Jake said, domestic violencingly. It's parked f***ing illegally, and that means I can't f***ing speed to. He said, shoehorning in another Temuera Morrison movie. What does Jake the bus need to do now, kids? That's right. Smash him. Get ready for a f***ing panel beating. <laughs> Too much waiting. Not enough speed work. Yeah! After a hard day on the road, Jake the bus likes nothing more than to chop some diesel with his mates. And then the lady with the baby on board sign was like, You're not gonna hurt my babies anymore. <laughs> then Jake the bus got some bad news. That f***ing tow truck. Uncle f***ing Pulley! You, I'm gonna f*** you up. But that's a story for another day. More story! That's all we've got time for. Right in the matter f***ing story! Oh! <laughs> Important lesson there, Jono. We all did learn a very important lesson. Let's never let you read stories to children again. <laughs> well, if you like violent buses with drinking problems, go to our Facebook page and like my video, Jono's Later in the Show, and of course, this week's punishment. Now, if there's one place I hate, it's the freaking supermarket. So many rules. Don't eat the grapes when you're in the produce section. Don't squeeze the avocados. Don't lick the meat. <laughs> Quite a good rule, that one. Don't take your pants off and dance in the pick and mix section. <laughs> That's another very good rule. But for this week's action, man, we decided to make the supermarket fun again. Hello and welcome to Countdown for Shop Smart Arts New Zealand. First up is the trolley round. Try and get an item into someone else's trolley without them noticing. Thank you. Watch this, mate. Frying pan. <laughs> Looks like he's about to mug her. That's <laughs> been declined, thank you. Did she see the front pen? She's all over it. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> been declined, thank you. You're in front of her. No, not at all. You did a forward roll towards her. I wonder if the roll was going to distract <laughs> from what I was doing. Shop smarter, thank you. Small, but expensive. He's going for the approach now. And. In go the blades. That has been accepted. She's coming. Oh, God. Hide. Try check on extra razors. Yes, you've got a victory. Yes. She's noticed the razors now. <laughs> Luckily, she hasn't noticed the two douchebags and highlighted <laughs> colours. Market round on aisle three. Thank you. So my theory, put an extra item in of what they've already purchased. That's so like genius. Hey, mate, you don't know... Oh, he's engaged in the conversation. Oh, and he's just gently put that in there. That has been accepted. Oh, he's dropping it in. That has been accepted. Oh, I got bacon. He's sliding it in. That's <laughs> been declined, thank you. Wrong basket. That's super awkward. Shot smart ass. Seamless product placement. What is this, the block? It's <laughs> <laughs> been declined, thank you. Damn it! That was so sloppy. <laughs> that was sloppy. What could go wrong? He's got about 18 kgs with the sausages. What is he doing? Sausages are... It's <laughs> been declined. Did he ask? No, 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 you've got to wear them, mate. <laughs> Apologies to him, mate. I just, I just thought you looked like you needed sausages. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You want any sausages <laughs> while you're there? You didn't know, you're good? OK, good, sweet. I just... Did you get one in there? Did you? This has been attempted. I shoplifted you around. <laughs> Arrest me. Oh, Arrest me. Stop take on aisle five. Thank you. Taking an item out. out. Trolley. Prior. Trying to clean up an aisle five. He's got an item. I think he might have been noticed. Same. I think he might have been seen. This has been, been declined. Thank you. Shot smart ass. This pen. Where's the old trolley? What are you doing? This has been attempted. <laughs> the man's a genius. What can I say? This is, you're five years ahead of everyone else, Ben. <laughs> right? Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah. Shop smart-ass New Zealand. 
We gave back her trolley. Don't worry about that. Now, coming up, the man child's talk to UK band The Wanted. Yes, I have a crack at making a kids' television programme. And this week's shocking punishment. See what I did there? I see what you did there, but no one else has seen the piece yet, so no one will really get that reference. Time for this week's old news. <laughs> week, Valerie Adams cheered herself up with some karaoke. Valerie, Valerie, <laughs> but was still pissed about not getting her medal back from that juiced up Belarusian man. Look, it goes with my outfit and I'm keeping it. It's bullshit. I've been on the juice for years and haven't won a thing. While in better looking news, one reporter, Amy Kelly, was blurring the faces of any woman more attractive than her. She made me help her select a new Facebook profile pic. She made me wear a balaclava. Save it, bitch. We're back to me. I'm Amy Kelly and better looking than most of the people in this city bag. Welcome back to Jono and Ben at 10. Now, time for our Hollywood gossip section of the show, Jono. I, I never realised we had a Hollywood gossip section of the show, but I'll roll with it, Neither OK? Neither did I, I just said Hollywood gossip section of the show. <laughs> Good news this week from Hollywood. Jennifer Aniston's got engaged to some dude I've never heard of before. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty keen to start having children soon, but right. this week also Angelina Jolie had a message for Jennifer Aniston. 6 nil, bitch. <laughs> so this. And I'm just signing the documents to get half of the malnourished marathon runners from the Olympics. <laughs> well, in town this week was UK band The Wanted. Do you know them from that worldwide smash hit, this one? You'll find the chase in the sun. See? Oh, oh, Popular music. That's what it sounds like. Oh, 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 no, I definitely don't know them from the Worldwide Smash. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably quite a cool thing for them, actually, because you killed Nickelback's career. <laughs> Nickelback killed Nickelback's career. <laughs> oh, miss me. <laughs> So anyway, sorry, I was just thinking about how shit Nickelback were. <laughs> <laughs> we anyway, we seen our man Charles to catch up with the wanted. Roadies from Shapes, feeding you the man Charles. They're more than just poor grammar. They're Jono and Ben at 10. Yes, oh. Hi, I'm Lil Jono. And I'm Lil Ben, and today we are talking to the UK band The Wanted. How long do you think you have before your name Wanted becomes sadly ironic? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what, there's been days when I've thought it was. If you could pick any girl, which girl from One Direction would you go on a date with? <laughs> uh, Zane. Isn't that slightly weird because he looks like Siva? Well, if they were female, I wouldn't say no. We <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't say no. In Chasing the Sun, you have the lyric. Oh, 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 Who wrote that line? <laughs> it's brilliant! Thanks. <laughs> you called Christina Aguilera a bitch yeah. because she ignored you. Does that make everyone over the age of 16 a bitch? Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have met Justin Bieber a few times. Is it difficult resisting the urge to punch him in the face? <laughs> I think, uh... <laughs> You're trying not to crack, I know. Oh, he's these gone, two have he's gone. 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 You, you're resistant. Go on, go on, go on. Every generation gets the music they deserve. What could this generation possibly have done? Deserve us. Um, as soon as it started, I was like, I know where it's going. <laughs> smart little bastards think that, oh, I'm sorry, smart little It's not as bad as when I said bitch. I, <laughs> I'm going to get that in my ringtone. <laughs> it's not as bad as when I said bitch. <laughs> Those dudes from The Wanted are from Ireland and they're like the home of boy bands. They've had like Boy Zone, Westlife, One Direction. The IRA. The IRA. <laughs> yeah. Great boy band, that one. Blew up a while ago. Oh. <laughs> right, there was trouble on the block this week. TV3 smash hit show. Tempers were a flaring. Sparple could be nice, eh? Hey? The fluff off. Oh, 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 Eric Young, chill the fluff out. Why don't you chill the fluff out? Why don't you both just shut the fluff up! <laughs> you guys are fluffing fuckers. <laughs> well, here at Jono Ben at 10, we have our own version of the blog, don't we? And we call it The Changing Room. It's fluffing awesome. Here comes another one. Oh, yeah. La la la. Hey, how's it going? I'll try to hold on to okay? Alright. Cheers. Craig, 
Cambridge is waiting on a lineup at this stage. Cancel that. Subject is here. He's coming this way too. Line up. Look this way. Absolutely. It's number four. Don't you trust you? Yes. <laughs> no, that's a negative. The suspect is here. <laughs> Take How come our policeman looks like a stripper? Yeah, that's him. That's number four. Number four. Stand forward. Go. No. You're under arrest, sir. For petty theft. Huh? It's not that deep. Give me a good go. Number four. Four shoot. Come on. Legal representation, mate. We are yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right, mate. In here. In here. Take your pants off. Yeah. 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 That was our version of The Block. The actual version of The Block apparently stars Shannon Ryan, but I haven't seen much Shan action on that show much. <laughs> and last night, I found out why. You can have that one. That one. She's fluffing bonkers. Freaking crazy. Although this is nothing new to us. We work with the lady. She's as unpredictable as a female Belarusian shot putter. And I am going to smash this stir fry, bro. Mm, lunchtime. Oh, man, it's episode six. We can't be this washed out. Oh, hey, Shannon. Hey, Ben. You did a good yeah. Oh. <gasps> yeah, I think you're on the right track. Coming up on the show, I have a crack at making a kids' television program and our wrap-up of the Olympics. But first, we clean up all the fluff and smut on New Zealand TV. This program is rated adult. To meet Valerie Adams, I believe, is to f*** her and to get to know her as to f*** her, basically, and that's happened with myself and my wife. Disgraced shot putter Nadzia Obstabchuk claims she was f You know, there's all sorts of animals you can f I like to f the bumpy camel. Join in with me and let's the bumpy camel together. Ooh, are you bouncing up and down? Welcome back to Jono and Ben at 10. Now the Olympics are over and we can go back to doing all those things that we kind of put off for two weeks, like talking to our loved ones I'm on the couch. Hey, talking to my loved ones on the couch. <laughs> yeah. Four more years, y'all. Yeah, four more years. <laughs> and after Prime's fantastic 23-hour day coverage, Prime Television, we can all go back to not watching Prime Television again. Aww. <laughs> cool. Look at this. Two dudes at a desk. Nice shtick. Andrew Mulligan, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> hey, Andrew, can I give you my resume? <laughs> Is it too late to get David Ferrier back? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. 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 Well, this week saw our Olympic team come back into the country and we sent Guy Williams out before he didn't sound so husky to meet them. <laughs> Guy Williams television segment. I'm at the domestic airport and I'm at the international airport. I went to the wrong airport the first time. We are waiting for the Olympic team to arrive. The entire New Zealand media is here behind us. Martin Devlin. Martin, it's Guy Williams here from John on Bennett 10. <laughs> Awkward. I've thought up some questions. Um, how does it feel? Mainly, how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel? Cheers, really awesome, yeah. How does it feel? Oh, it's awesome to be home. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Can you help me, someone? Please help me. Cheers, mate. Bloody good effort. Sarah, it's Guy Williams here from John Owen, Ben at 10. First at 10 p.m. You've done the whole country proud. You can go talk to proper media now if you want. What, what's your opinion on microphones? Uh, we don't mean to talk that loud into them. Sorry, mate. Guy Williams here from John Owen, Ben at 10. Cool. Cool. Congratulations, mate. On behalf of New Zealand, you've done a bloody good job. My camera's not here. Where the fuck is my camera? Do you think I could borrow your footage after the games? How do you guys do that thing where you're like... <laughs> they say that good butterfly cookers are good in bed, so... High five! I feel really sad that um, Valerie Adams didn't get to stand on the podium with the gold medal. I've actually brought my own podium along, so I'll be able to put her on there today at the airport. But I think she's in France, actually. Shit, because I've kind of like spent a lot of money hiring the podium. <laughs> on behalf of um, John and Bennett, I'd like to give you this medal for the most inspirational shit of all time. Thank you. Round of applause. <laughs> Bloody good effort.
Storm, you win best name at the Olympics. Congratulations, mate. You've done very well. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd also like to give you the award for most bro -y mates after you'd won the medal. Yeah, that was awesome as well. They were like, yeah! <laughs> like you just bought a ute or something. Hey, how many dudes know a row like this? Not many. Did Did you any? 100,000 hits. We're Let's keep it going. <laughs> I just created the um, emotional moment of this press coverage. Are you guys trying to get into the media scrum? Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. I snuck in Sarah Walker's boyfriend yeah. using a clever media disguise. Out of the way, bro, out of the way. I know your news is important. Welcome back. Staggering. Yeah, it was. It was heartbreaking. You should probably put it on your show. Am I talking to the right camera when I've been doing my monologues? Or is it... I don't even know. There's been too many cameras here today. You haven't got a f***ing clue, have you? That's all right. <laughs> for part two of Jono versus Ben because of course we're having a crack at kids TV shows aren't yeah, we? Yeah and I've got some good clean friendly children fun. Well here's a tip, if you've got no mates, you can play with yourself, it's really great. Nobody knows what you like to do, just like you do. If the kids don't let you play tug of war, you can tug with yourself till you're red and raw. Just close your eyes and pull away, who cares what other people say? You don't need a friend if you want to play, you can grab your wood and just whack away. You'll have so much fun that you want to brag, when you empty out your ball bag. Whatever you do doing, wherever the Place. You know you can put a smile on your face Home alone on the internet Playtime In the back of Sunday Road Playtime Or any comments on Target Playtime You might want to visit the laundry Playtime <laughs> It's just two minutes of you singing about playing with yourself. Exactly, Ben. It's all about self-confidence, mate. <laughs> but if you appreciate the story of a grown man who enjoys spending time with himself, then go to our Facebook page and please like that video. <laughs> Thank you. Then we've got one boot <laughs> goal. It's time for this week's punishment. Last week we did medical dramas, right? Mm. And I won. Mm. So I got to come up with this week's medically inspired punishment. Hilarious. <laughs> so like a Belarusian sent to Siberia to dig holes for 20 years, please don't forget about us. We'll be back next week. Well, once again, it sucks to be Jono. We'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. Today we're playing a life-size version of the classic board game Operation. He said I was here for a Red Nose Day fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> to make it more embarrassing, whole class full of med students. And we've also got Nurse Anna. I saw you on Children's Street, I know you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, draw your first card and let's okay. get into it. The first card is the funny bone. Oh, okay, just, okay. just over here, mate. Right, right, got it. Did he is. Okay. <laughs> Just like oh, that. Good start, <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's a cattle prod that we've basically souped up with some sort of tongs. Oh. <laughs> See why cows don't like it. <laughs> All right, next card. A Charlie horse. Okay, ready? Oh, she's got two. <laughs> <laughs> it's just quick in this game, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs>